Right, but in Russia, they're getting record setting temperatures. Temperatures in Moscow hit 90.86 degrees oh, Fahrenheit. Yeah, I know, really, it's not even that hot. It hasn't gotten quite that hot there since 1936. Apparently, it was enough to melt that chocolate at the Kremlin. It's a tiny Kremlin tower that somebody set up. Yeah, I'm not okay. impressed. It's 90 degrees. It's going to melt chocolate. Ooh, yeah. Way to go, Russia. We can melt chocolate. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can melt chocolate, right? Yeah, it doesn't take much to melt chocolate. Yet doesn't. Yet. <laughs> Just look at me, I'm melting. I know, and it's not even 90 <laughs> degrees in the studio. You yeah. reminded me of the, the cartoon with Bullwinkle and Natasha. <laughs> Never mind. Boris and Natasha? Yes! Boris! Yes, Boris. Bullwinkle was, the, yeah, he yeah. was the good guy. The yeah. Boris, yeah, he was we the digress. moose and squirrel. Rocky. All right. All right. Good numbers. Well, you didn't like the rain yesterday. Now you don't like the heat today. It's summer. It's one or the other. You know. Take your pick. Talk to me in October. Actually, there were a good 10 minutes yesterday when it was cool. <laughs> there was a good solid 10 it's minutes of just perfection minutes. yesterday. Well, really, with the rain yesterday, it did help to keep our temperatures yes. down. However, today, we didn't see nearly as much. It was out to our west. Now, they still have some remnant showers and a little bit of cloud cover and temperatures a little bit more west, Homa, Thibodeau, and Baton Rouge in the 70s right now, whereas in the city, we generally stayed under mostly sunny skies all day today. Had one little shower that kind of popped up just along the Kenner Lake front north of the airport. Looks like that is weakening and moving up towards the west. Otherwise, a few pop up showers here and there. A lot of our more organized rainfall was really from the Homa Thibodeau and then up toward Baton Rouge area. So more of the northern bayou parishes, river parishes, and even that didn't amount to much accumulation. And most of our observing stations finally did not report any measurable rainfall. So today we're not adding to our totals, which are pretty substantial for not only the month, but for the year. Our total for the year is almost 59 inches of rainfall. Normal would be 35 inches. So we have a surplus of almost two feet of rain. Now kind of looking at where that places us by the percentage of normal. This is looking at the year so far and the dark blues to purple to even this light purple color here. The percentage of normal is 150 to 175 percent of normal. We could kind of end things now and we'd be on track to be normal for the entire year. And we've only got where well, you have still left six more months to go. Now, obviously, once we get toward October, November, December, it is a little bit drier, but we also haven't had any tropical systems. And that usually is what kind of puts us over the, the top for rainfall. Notice most of our cloud cover today was out west, whereas most of southeast Louisiana baked under a lot of sunshine, 89 degrees right now. That thunderstorm in the vicinity of the airport, though, not actually raining at the airport. 97 is, though, what it feels like when you factor in dew points into the low 70s. So today got into the low 90s. Uh, about average for this time of year and our morning low was at 77. So we had more 80s and 90s on the map. But as I mentioned, with the clouds and rainfall, temperatures out to our west are in the 70s. What helped to get the rainfall going today was you almost see this little southerly flow in the upper parts of the atmosphere, almost kind of a broad upper low that helped to ignite a lot of our showers and thunderstorms, which for the most part were from our west out into Texas. And much of our region really didn't see a great deal of accumulation, and it doesn't look like we're going to see or a great deal of uh, coverage, and we're probably not going to see much over the next several days because a ridge of high pressure is going to build in, and that should really limit the amount of rain we see over the next several days. So we're going to see more of the somewhat normal chance of rain. Every day we're going to see some type of rainfall, but rain coverage is going to be far less, so you have less of a chance of actually getting in on those showers. Rain will be ending through this evening and tonight, but as we get started into the more midday, early afternoon hour, showers and thunderstorms will be billowing up and a few isolated downpours here and there, but coverage is going to remain on the lower side. As far as the tropics go, there is nothing going on. Interesting that the Hurricane Center started mentioning this one little almost non-tropical feature that is actually more in line with an upper trough and a frontal system. They're giving it a low percent chance as it kind of slowly drifts south. And then by the end of the week, it's going to get lifted up to the north. So it doing anything in terms of becoming a name system are looking slim to none and certainly not a threat to us. Basically speaking, the next five to certainly seven days are going to be very quiet in the tropics. Our rain chance is more of a normal variety, 30 to 40 percent with high temperatures into the low 90s through the weekend and early next week. All right, Chris, this is exciting news shows.